Hi guys and welcome to another Divi4 WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. In our last video we put together this little animated blurb section here. In this video today we're going to put together this little sort of call to action section. It's a full screen section or a full width section with a nice little blurb and call to action on the right hand side. So let's get started. Here's the page we were working on. As you can see, it's not there. Let's enable the visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work and create a new section. Little blue button for a new section, green button for a new row, dark button for a new module. I'm going to create a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section, even though we're going to make it full width in the end. I'm just going to make it regular for the time being. I'm going to have 50 50 or two columns. And by default, it's going to ask us to put in a module here. And Divi comes with all these modules as standard. There's another 16 as well. If you happen to have WooCommerce and you're selling products on your site, just keeps getting better and better. If you want to take Divi for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So on this first column right here, I'm going to insert an image model module. There we go. And I'm just going to add an image. I'll add one that I've already got for expediency. So I'm going to hit that one. There we go. And that image is in there. Don't want to do a whole lot with it. I don't want to um, have it linking anywhere. You can do if you want by simply going down to link and link to wherever you want it to link. I'm just going to leave mine like that as a simple image for the moment. Now what I want to do is I want to make this row full width. So remember I said blue is for the section, green is for the row, dark is for the module. Let's go into the row, hit the little cog. We'll go to the design tab, down to sizing, width. I'm going to slide that all the way up to 100%. I'm going to copy 100% or you can simply type it in in the max width below. And as you can see, our row has now gone full width. Fantastic. All right. I'm also going to give this row a background color. And I want to use, let's just save this, save that. I want to use this same sort of light blue as we were using here. So I'm using Google Chrome. If I just right click and inspect, it'll bring up the inspector and should show me that color. Fantastic, right there. Usually when I'm building a site, I've got a little note of all the colors I want to use. But if you don't, that's an easy way of finding out a color of any site really where they're using. So I want to put that in as the background color for our row. Let's go back into the row cog right there. Let's go down, background color gradient image video I want to color let's hit that paste that little hex code in there there we go we've got a sort of full width row there now I don't want any gaps top and bottom of the image so let's hit the design tab we'll go to spacing and make sure there's no padding on the top and bottom by simply putting a zero in hitting the chain link and it'll put it in the other side for you opposite side top bottom left right there we go fantastic but i think let's just save this i've still got a bit of gap between the section and the top of the row i want to take that away i want it to be buffered up against top and bottom of the row also so exactly the same thing i'm going to go into the section design spacing padding zero link there we go fantastic that's what I want now right let's get about the business of creating our call to action I think the first thing I want to do is put a title in here now I can't remember what I said before planet wide service or well, we use that again we created this title before here so I'm going to clone this two little squares right there I'm simply going to drag it down to where I want it 
it doesn't matter which one you take because they're both the same there we go now it's in there I want a bit more padding on the top so I'm going to take it up. I simply left clicked I've still got my finger on the left button and I'm just pulling it down to kind of where I want it I might have to adjust this in a little while there we go and obviously I want it to be light in color so I'm going to go in there and once you're in there if you hover over whatever it is you want to edit hit the little paintbrush there that'll pop up it'll take you straight to it Let's move this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. Go down a bit. The only thing I really want to change about that is the color and what it says. I think I might give it a little bit of drop shadow just to make it stand out a bit more on that blue. It's okay. I think that's better. Right, and so I want to change what it what it says to planet wide service. So I'll just simply go into text. There it is right there. And I can type it all lowercase because we've got the design saying uppercase and the actual font style. Let's just save that. Now then, let's add a new module. I'm going to use a call to action module. So let's scroll down. There it is, call to action. As you can see, it's put in a bit of text and what have you there. Let's just have a look what I put in here for the title, Lightning Fast. Gone to a site called lipsum.com, which generates this dummy text called Lorem Ipsum. Some people say it's Latin, but it's not. I'm going to hit paragraphs, generate Lorem Ipsum. And I'm going to just grab a paragraph out of here. And I'm going to put that in for my content. Maybe a little more than I need there. Might want to take some of this away. I think I'll take that last bit away. That seems a bit, a bit more than I need. Of course, you'll have some text to put in there. Okay, let's go about styling this. Well, I don't want a background in there. So let's go to our content yet again, background. Let's just take that away, trash, bunk. There we go. For our title text, if we go back to our text. What do we have here, lightning fast? Again, I'm just gonna write that in in lowercase because I'll style it in a minute. Moving on, let's go to our design tab and start styling it. Well, let's start with our title here. Again, I'm just gonna hit the little paintbrush icon that pops up, it takes me straight to the H2. Let's use our Roboto that we used before for our font. Roboto condensed, and I'm gonna make it capitalized. Leave it just like that. I may have a little, just a tiny bit of box shadow on this one too. Yep, that's fine. Let's go to our text next. So let's go here. And let's have a look. I want to make it a bit bigger. I don't really want to change a whole lot else. Let's have it justified. That's fine. I'll pop that back in the middle. Let's bring it up just slightly, perhaps to 16. If you hover over, there's these two little arrows right here. Great, that's absolutely fine. Okay, let's just go back to this. I want to pop that back in the middle. So if we go down, we can put that in the middle. There we go. Now we want to add a button. If we look at this other one, we've got a nice little button there. So to add the button, simply go to content, go to link. And as long as you put a link in, it can be anything. I'm just going to put a hashtag because I'm not sure where I want this to go yet. A button will appear there. And we want it to link in the same window. 
And if we go to text, there's our button text just under the title right here. Um, I think we said get started. That's fine. And of course we want to style our button like we did with our other things. So if we go to our design tab, down to button, use custom styles. I think I want my button to be on the right hand side. I'm going to adjust the sort of padding right here in a moment. And I need to adjust this image because I want the image to come all the way to the middle there. So I'll do that in a moment. Okay, text color is fine and size is fine. Background color, I'm going to use the orange we used above. And we'll give it a hover state also. So just hover over where it says button background, hit the little arrow, get two tabs, desktop and hover. For the hover state, if I just click on this, I'm going to take the opacity down a little bit. There we go, that's fine. And I don't think I popped my button over to the right. I talked about it. But while we're here, let's just go on down and make our border color the same orange. I'm not going to change the hover state on it. But I do want to just click back on desktop so we can see the desktop version there. Button border color, orange. Border radius, well, our ones above, we kind of made pill shaped and the ones below actually. So let's do the same with this for consistency. And I, to do that, I just gave it a border radius of 50 pixels. Just put in 50, it'll put in the pixels for you. There we go. What else do we want with our button? I don't want the button icon. You may, but I don't. You see when I hover over it, it shows that little arrow. So I'm gonna flip that to off. By default, Elegance Themes comes with all these wonderful icons here you can use but I don't want that for this particular thing. A little bit of text shadow. So that's what we use on these other ones, that's fine. And just a little bit of box shadow underneath. I might wanna make this button slightly wider like we did before, and we do that with a bit of padding left and right. And hit the chain, it'll do the opposite. Doesn't seem to have made a lot of difference there. There we go, 50 makes it bigger, so let's do that. And it's done both sides because we got the chain link, that's fine. And just a bit of box shadow under the button to make it stand out a bit more. If we go back up to alignment, just above button text shadow, I want it on the right hand side. Great. So let's save that. What I need to do to check, make this go all the way there is change the gutter width because that's a gutter between these two here. So let's go to my row. Let's go to design. Let's go to sizing, custom gutter width. Take this all the way down to zero. There we go. So we've got no gutter there. They're backed up against each other there, which is exactly what I want. Okay, now this to me on a desktop is looking a little too wide. So let's fix this. I kind of want it much more in the middle. So if we go back to our design tab in the module itself, we'll go to sizing, pop this up a bit. And I want to say width. I want it to be have a width of about 60%. So I'm simply going to type 60% in there. That's fine, but I want it to be aligned in the center. So module alignment right there, fantastic. But I don't think that's gonna to look too good on desktop and mobile. So let's check it on mobile. Let's hover over width and hit the little icon that looks like a cell phone. Desktop, we got 60%. If we flip onto tablet, Move this so we can see, just scroll up a bit. Yeah, I don't like that. I want it probably 80% on a tablet. So I'm simply gonna write 80% in there. That's fine. And let's have a look on our phone. Again, I probably want that 100% on a phone. So let's do that, 100%. Yeah, that's fine. So we've got 100% on a phone, 80% on a tablet. I think that's fine. 
and 60% on the desktop. I'm going to make this writing a little bit bigger again, I think. And I'm going to adjust the padding so it's sort of more central. Let's just save this. Let's hover over here. Padding top's okay. I'm going to add a bit more. Drag this down to sort of the middle there. But I want to make this text a little bit bigger. So let's go in there. Design. Text. We actually want the uh, content, body text. Let's go down to text size. Drag this up just a little bit. That looks better to me. So there we've pretty much got our little call to action section. I'm quite happy with that. Again, let's just check it on our responsive devices. Hit the little purple button. We've got desktop. Let's check it on the mobile or tablet. It's fine. I want to change my padding for tablet though because I want to take that up a bit. It's fine. I'll just remember that for a moment. And on the cell, again, it just wants to go up a little bit. So let's go back to our desktop. And it's actually the padding on top here is what we've got. So I just want to reduce that a bit on this title for tablet and cell. Let's do that. Design. Spacing. There we go. Here's our margin, top and bottom. Hit the little phone icon on tablet. Let's take it down. In fact, we can probably take it away. So if I put zero in there, top's fine. Yeah, I like that. That, that works well. And cell phone, probably the same. So we might have fixed that already. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Because if we go to phone, it'll be the one before, which is the tablet size, which is zero. So I'm happy with that. Let's go back to our desktop view. Save our changes. Save our page changes. Once saved, exit the Visual Builder. And let's see what we've got. There you go, there's a little call to action section. It's a nice little section with an image and a call to action button. We'll put in the URL at a later time when we've decided where we want to go with these things. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it helpful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, please take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.